Today we're talking about the Rode VideoMic Me L Direction, a little shotgun microphone that goes right into your iPhone. Now, if you're an Android user, keep watching this video because they make the Rode VideoMic Me that has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that will go into your Android. But for this video, I went out and I did some tests with the VideoMic Me L. I plugged it into my iPhone and I went to Hanoi, Vietnam, one of the noisiest places I could possibly find. Well, I didn't take it there to do it, but I was there and I had it with me. So I shot some video inside of my hotel room to show you what it sounds like in a quiet environment. And I took it outside to a noisy street corner to show you what it sounds like in a really noisy environment. And we're gonna get to those a little bit later. But first, I wanna talk about the microphone itself. Self. Now this microphone isn't exactly new. It's been around for almost a year, but I've been getting a lot of requests from you. You want more videos on audio choices for your smartphone. So I went out and I grabbed a bunch of microphones and I have more videos coming about microphones. So at the end of this video, if you like the way this sounds, go down and leave a comment and let me know if there's another microphone you want this compared to. If I have that microphone and enough of you want this video, I'll make a future video on it. Now this microphone has a cardioid polar pattern. It picks up sound coming from the front of the microphone in a heart-shaped pattern. But whatever you point it at, that's the direction that's gonna pick up the audio. It's more sensitive in the front of the microphone and less sensitive in the back of the microphone. The Rode Video Mic Me and Rode Video Mic Me L also come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack located on the back of the microphone. You can plug your headphones into this and monitor the sound that's coming through your microphone. This is a great feature. It also comes with a very large dead cat or wind sock or windscreen, whatever you want to call these. And I'm going to talk about this a little bit later in the video that you see when I'm on the streets of Vietnam. And it simply slips over the top like this. It is kind of big, kind of big. It's actually really big. I do believe Rode could probably do a better job on the size of this thing. But uh, I mean, this thing's huge. Before I run the audio test, I do wanna mention that the iPhones, they do record in stereo. So when you're listening to the sound that's recorded in the iPhone, you're gonna hear more of what's happening around you. You're gonna hear more room noise, you're gonna hear more ambient noise, things in the background. But when I plug in the microphone, it's going to focus its direction towards my voice. It's not going to eliminate the background noise, but it is going to lower it because it's focusing in on my voice or whatever it is that you're pointing it towards. Now, if you're ready to head to Vietnam to see what this microphone sounds like, please buckle up, raise your tray table, and put your smartphone in flight mode. We're taking off. I'm standing on a street corner in Hanoi, Vietnam. There's a lot of noise, a lot of traffic, a lot of horns, a lot of motorbikes, and uh, yeah, it's kind of chaotic right here. But I want you to hear the audio that you're listening to right now. This is coming directly from the onboard microphone on my iPhone XS. There's no external microphone plugged in. I'm gonna plug in that microphone in just a second and let you hear the difference. And I want you to go down and leave a comment and let me know if you can tell a big difference or not. Now the audio that you're listening to is coming from the Rode Video Mic Me L and I have the windscreen or the dead cat put on it. If you're shooting outside, if you're vlogging outdoors, the dead cat or the windscreen is gonna be very important because it's gonna cut down on the wind noises that you're gonna hear from the microphone. I'm gonna take this off in just a second. However, it's not very windy today, so I don't know if you're gonna hear any wind noise but when I remove it, and we're gonna talk about this in just a second here. When I remove this, you might hear some wind noise right now. Not sure, if I started walking around or if a gust of wind came through, you would definitely hear some wind noise. But for run and gun, this is great, and if it's windy, pop this on. If it's not windy, if you're recording indoor, then you really don't need this unless you find that your voice is causing a lot of plosives or a lot of wind sounds that are coming out of your mouth and hitting the microphone. I also wanna say that if you are vlogging and you're outside and you're walking around, especially if you're walking around in a place you're not familiar with, before you take off walking down the pavement, have a look at it to make sure that some of the bricks or some of the tiles or there's not holes or sewer covers that have been lifted off the sidewalk. Yesterday in the old quarter in Hanoi, I watched someone who was vlogging, walking with their camera. Some of the bricks were off the sidewalk. He tripped on it and he fell down. I don't know if the camera broke or not, but dude, if you're watching this, you took a hard fall, leave a comment and let me know if your camera survived that fall or not. <laughs> Gotta be careful out here, man. I also wanna mention that I'm shooting this with the front facing camera on my iPhone XS using the native camera that comes with my iPhone. I'm not using Filmic Pro or the Moment app. Everything is default right out of the box and I'm shooting in 1080p because I wanted to show you what it looks like and what it sounds like with your, hey, what's going on? With you, hey, yeah. <laughs> Wanted to show you what it looks like and sounds like with your phone right out of the box. Riders ready? Oh. 
back in my hotel room. This is probably the quietest place that I can find to test this microphone. I've turned off the air conditioner, the TV is off, and I barely hear anything coming from the street through the window. And the audio that you're hearing right now is coming from the Rode microphone. I'm gonna unplug this and let you hear what the audio sounds like coming from the iPhone XS directly. The audio that you're hearing right now is coming directly from the onboard microphone inside the iPhone XS. Again, the air con is turned off and very little street noise coming from outside. This is probably what the iPhone would sound like if you're shooting inside of your living room or your bedroom. So we have a good comparison for outside around a lot of traffic and now you hear what it sounds like inside a room with a bed and curtains, things that are gonna stop your audio waves from bouncing around. So that's what the microphone sounds like in a quiet room and on the streets of Vietnam, in case you were to find yourself in Vietnam. So you might ask yourself, who is this microphone for? This microphone is pretty good for vloggers. If you need a run and gun microphone, you want something lightweight, something you can toss in your bag and not have to worry about it breaking or cables, this might be a good microphone for you. But what if you're wanting to make a podcast with your phone or you wanna do voiceovers with this microphone? How does that sound? So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm using the Rode Report app and I'm gonna record directly into the microphone, into my phone, and I'm gonna play the audio back so you can hear it directly. So when I do play this back, you're not gonna hear the audio from my shotgun microphone, you're going to hear the audio from this microphone directly. Now the audio you're listening to is coming from the Rode Video Mic Me L and it's being recorded with the windscreen on through the Rode Recorder app. Now that the windscreen is removed, you may or may not be hearing my breath hitting the microphone. I'm not sure, but if you hear a low rumbling sound, that is my breath hitting the microphone. Now we've tested this microphone indoors and outside in a very noisy environment. And we've also tested it in a quiet room with and without the windscreen. So you can decide if this microphone is right for you or not. And as always, go down, leave a comment and let me know what you think about this microphone. Do you own this microphone? How does it sound? I wanna know. Now, you're probably wondering if I think this microphone is worth the price and how much is it? This microphone is currently selling for $79 US, but here's the thing. While it is a decent microphone for the price, you gotta think about if you have a newer iPad, it's USB-C. This doesn't work anymore. If you're getting one of the newer iPhones, if they put USB-C in the newer iPhones, this also is not going to work. However, if you have something with a lightning port or if you have the Android version, which has the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, these are gonna work just fine. In terms of what I think of the microphone, I think it's a little bit quiet, but for the price, I think it's pretty good. I love the fact that there's no cables. I love the fact that it's it's pretty sturdy. I actually dropped this twice right on hard concrete. There's no problems with it. I can grab it, toss it in my bag, throw it in my pocket. It's really easy to run and gun with this microphone. Is this the best sounding microphone? No, it's not the best sounding. You heard what it sounds like in different environments, so you get to be the judge of that. For me, it's not the best sounding microphone, but you know, it's a great backup microphone for me. I usually try travel with the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, which is a larger shotgun microphone. I hook it up through my phone, through cables and dongles and different adapters. You've probably seen that picture on my Instagram account. You know, you get what you pay for. That larger shotgun microphone is $299. This one is $79. And I'll probably travel with this as a backup in case my battery goes dead with my other Rode. I've got this in my bag. I can pull it out, plug it right in, and I don't have to worry about cables or adapters or dongles and it goes and you're off and running. Now there are a couple of negatives that I found with this mic. The first thing being that depending on the case that you have on your phone, you might have to take it off in order for this to actually connect. I'm using a Nomad rugged leather case and this won't connect, it won't stay in. It will just start to go in, but it won't stay. So I have to take the case off. So your phone is unprotected. Well, this phone is unprotected when I wanna use this. So if you drop your phone, you know how the rest of that plays out. But if you have a case and everything fits, then you don't have anything to worry about. The next problem that I had is when you take this off, if there's just a slight gust of wind, you're gonna get a lot of rumble in this microphone. It picks up wind noise really easily when you're outside. Even times when I didn't think, I didn't feel wind, but when I came back and I listened to the footage that you heard, I made a note in the video, that you hear the rumbling and you don't even feel it, but it's there. So if you are shooting outside, you definitely 
want to put this on. So overall, is it worth it? Is it worth $79? Is it worth keeping as a backup? Is it worth getting as your only microphone? I would say that for the price, it's a pretty good microphone. And if you plan on keeping your iPhone and not upgrading to a phone later that might need a USB-C, then it's a great purchase. If you have an Android and you're using the video mic me, then yeah, that's not gonna change anytime soon as long as you get a phone with the headphone jack. If you have a phone without a headphone jack, this one isn't going to work. And if you have an iPhone without a lightning port, this one isn't going to work. However, if you have an older iPhone, this one might do the trick. My guess is as more devices are made with a USB-C connector, you're probably gonna see a third version of this microphone made by Rode. But until that happens, this is what we have. And these are pretty good microphones. If you wanna learn more about smartphone audio or making content with your phone, or you wanna learn how to be a mobile YouTuber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.